What's going on, legends? My name is Keith Allen, your motivation guy. And today, I'm bringing you a guide for everyone's favorite walking tank, Gibraltar. So we're gonna be touching on his abilities, team chemistry, optimal weapon choices, and so much more. You know, we're here to help you rank up fast. So make sure that you're subbed to the channel. And without further ado, man, let's get this going. All right, guys, so now before we get into Gibraltar, we're going to clear up a common myth. No, Gibby is not slower than any other legend. So don't waste your time racing your friends in the fire range to check. Gibraltar is Apex Legends' big brother, always looking out for his teammates and getting them out of sticky situations. This friendly behemoth is going to soak up damage for his team with his passive abilities, Gun Shield and Fortify. Every time Gibraltar aims down sights, unless it's been recently broken, his gun shield is going to deploy over his entire upper body. This is going to really let him hunker down and just hold the line for his squad without taking major damage. Every bit of damage Gibby does see will be cut down by 15% thanks to his passive Fortify a damage reduction added to him due to his massive stature. Gibraltar's active ability is the Dome of Protection. We're going to talk more about the Dome Shield later on. However, just know this is what makes Gibraltar as good as he is. The Dome of Protection, coupled with his ultimate defensive bombardment, allows Gibby to excel in almost every situation you put him in. So due to his size, Gibby has the passive ability Fortify. This reduces damage dealt to him by 15% from all weapons and explosives. It also prevents slowing caused by being shot. This makes Gibraltar an incredibly tanky legend. He also has a second passive ability to add to this, his gun shield. While aiming, Gibby will have an energy shield in front of him that allows him to shoot through it, but it absorbs up to 50 damage. After absorbing the damage, it will break and be on a 9 second cooldown. This ability is just very strong but requires you to get used to using weapons aiming down sights as hipfire will not trigger the gun shield. As soon as the gun shield is available though, you definitely want to go back to using it. An important note about the gun shield since it recently received a small nerf, damage that exceeds the health of the gun shield will now bleed through. This probably goes without saying but you want to use cover along with Gibby's gun shield. When on a head glitch or crouch while ADSing, it's almost impossible to just hit Gibby and not the shield. Utilizing it as much as possible will be the secret to winning those 1v1s consistently. Alright, so if you think about it, like Gibby can take 50 damage for free and then still takes less damage from the bullets that do manage to actually hit him and not the gun shield. So like we said guys, this makes him an absolute tank and insanely difficult to bubble fight. Alright, speaking of bubble fighting, let's talk about his active ability called Dome of Protection. On the surface, this could seem like a very simple ability. However, its timing is everything. The dome has many uses, including reviving your teammates, crossing openings in the map, and being aggressive pushing up to a building. When deployed, Gibby will throw a disc that upon landing will deploy a 12 meter wide bubble that lasts for 12 seconds. While the dome is deployed, players can enter and leave as they please. However, no projectiles will pass through. Any knock teammates being rezzed by Gibby and his shield will be picked up 25% faster. This is why Gibby makes for a great legend if you're playing solo because the only thing that you can control when you're solo queuing is really yourself. So if your teammates make a mistake, you can pick up the slack. The cooldown on the dome of protection is 30 seconds, so you don't want to go throwing your dome all willy-nilly. Strong bubble placement and timing will be key to winning late game fights. So understanding how to peek in and out of the bubble to put damage on enemies without receiving much is a great tactic to really master. Bubbles can be used in not only a defensive manner, but offensive as well. Throwing your dome forward will give your team lots of protected space to play from. Now, a warning to all aspiring gimme mains, all right, the dome will not completely protect you if deployed on a large incline. Enemies will be able to shoot your legs and feet from lower angles, and even your own ult can hit you on a hillside, so pay attention to where you're throwing your bubble, as this is the strongest ability in its kit, and arguably, in the game. All right, so adding to the powerhouse that is Gibby, he has an ultimate that opens up the sky called Defensive Bombardment. When Gibby throws his ult, a 24 meter ring of explosive death rains down upon the targeted area for 6 seconds. Any targets hit in the ult will be dealt 40 damage each hit and severely slowed. This ultimate will be key for pushing enemies on high ground as well as protecting your team from hard pushes. If you couple Gibby's dome with his ultimate, then you can find yourself being untouched while the area around you is being destroyed. Just make sure the timing is right, no one likes to have a bubble shield drop during the ultimate. Here's a few quick examples of how you could use Gibraltar's ult to your advantage. Alright, let me ask you this. Do you have an annoying sniper team sitting on a building? A simple toss of this ult will clear the roof and give you plenty of time to move forward. 
Has your teammate been knocked in the open and the enemy team is running at you? Okay, his ult has you covered. Is there a team camping in a building that has to move out due to the zone pushing them? Looks like you have some free kills if your ult is up. This ability is so powerful that you should consider keeping one to two ultimate accelerants on you at all times if you have a big enough backpack and you're lucky enough to find them. All right, so one last thing that's important to note, all right, is that just like Bangalore, your ultimate can slow your teammates. This is why communicating to your team when you ult is super important so they don't find themselves getting slowed by your ult. Be sure to respect your bombardment's power as finding yourself in it is a quick and embarrassing way to get sent back to the lobby. So whether you're new to Apex or you're swapping your main, playing Gibby can be a punishing experience. Don't worry guys, we're gonna be going over some key strategies that's gonna help all aspiring Gibbies dominate their opposition. We find that playing a medium to long range weapon with a shotgun as a secondary will really let you crush anybody who pushes your bubble. So working on dipping in and out of your bubble in between shots keeps your damage taken very low, all while doing solid damage to your opponents. This is called bubble fighting. While bubble fighting, Make sure you're ADSing the entire time inside of your bubble to make sure any initial damage is absorbed. Once your gun shield gets broken, swap to hip fire to keep your mobility up. This will help keep you alive longer, and as your team's main support, that'll allow you to keep your team alive longer. If a teammate gets knocked and you're getting pushed, simply throw your ult at your feet and bubble. This will allow for ample time to res the teammate and even pop a battery. Gibby is such a versatile support. He can stall fights out with his ult dome combo, make hard pushes easier by bubbling forward, and even charge shields for his teammates. Since Gibby's gun shield has the ability to absorb damage, he often is the person poking for the team at range, charging up evil shields. This is why aim is another important thing to have when playing Gibby. But don't worry guys, we have some amazing guys for aim coming soon. If you find yourself finding another Gibby team, keep your eye on when he bubbles. You can time your ult with his bubble dropping, or even throw some arc stars to explode right after, which is devastational for any team. However, the same goes for them, so make sure to use your dome with that in mind. Breaking an enemy's shields can be a good time to push with your bubble. Bubbling forward through a doorway or choke will give you and your team space to get vision, put damage out, and eliminate the enemy team. Even if the enemy team has a caustic, throwing your bubble just outside of a caustic trap negates all his gas inside of that bubble. So this may seem advanced, but don't worry. We have some amazing coaches over on ProGuys.com that can help you learn Gibby quickly and also show you how to climb rank insanely fast. It's a proven way to accelerate your improvement. All right, back to the guy. When throwing your bubble forward, the higher the lob, the farther it will go. It has travel time and can leave you vulnerable to damage before it deploys, so definitely keep that in mind when being aggressive. Outside of the battle, Trying to stay nearby your teammates will help you to be where you're needed when the time comes. Near the end of every game, you're gonna wanna save your ult for as long as possible. You know, many times you're gonna find teams having to rotate in the open due to bad positioning and the ult will hit for full effect. Like we mentioned before guys, always keep your eyes on what other Gibbies are doing. If they bubble early, make sure to take advantage. You know, Gibraltar has a saying, my shield, my life, and we find that rings true. Just remember guys, his kit is insanely powerful, so use it wisely. So as a Gibby main, you're gonna find a place on almost every team. He pairs great with practically every legend and it really shows in pick rates and win rates. But there are some specific legends that it really shines with. You know, as of season nine, Valkyrie and Gibby have had great results when redeploying with her ult from his bubble, like we talked about in our Valkyrie guide. You only show outside the bubble for a second before launching off. Same goes for the speedy boy Octane with his jump pad. You can actually throw your dome into the pad and launch after it. It puts the dome on the standing trajectory and allows you to land in a pre-deployed dome with the gun out. All right, so let's just say instead of an octane, you have a wraith. If the wraith's portal falls a little short, no worries. Good old Gibby will go first and bubble for his team to safely make the rotation. You know, every recon player loves a Gibby. They never have to worry about getting beamed when going for a survey beacon. You know, one quick bubble and the ring location can be gathered without fear. Gibraltar is truly a team player's legend, and he's a fantastic addition to any squad. Plus, you can find his use for his bubble or ultimate with almost every single legend in the game. So in summary, Gibraltar is insanely powerful, unless Respawn finally decides to nerf him. He won't be going anywhere anytime soon. There's a reason all your favorite streamers and pros are playing Gibraltar. If you can master the king of the bubble shield, you're gonna be ranking up in no time. Take the tips and tricks that we discussed in this video and just try them out. You know, practice using the bubble to protect your team or push a building. Practice using his ultimate to engage or force a team to back off if you get hurt. Gibby's kit is insanely powerful, 
All it takes is a little learning and you're gonna be climbing the ranks in no time. So if you've never given him a try, guys, you have to do it. This big brother is insanely OP and really great to play if you want to rank up fast. You know, from cheerful ukulele emotes to massive bombardments and bubbles of safety, he offers the full package for anybody wanting to be a dominant force in the map. And so if you put the strategies that we showed off to use, you're going to find massive success. If you guys liked the video, make sure you sub to the channel. If you want to connect with me on my Instagram, I'm right here at Your Motivation Guy. Keep grinding, never give up. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.